What's up boys and girls welcome to another episode of the DJ Chronicles and guess what this right here is the season finale who would ever thought we have a finale for the DJ Chronicles but we do and this is a very good one uh, we are doing a wedding reception today um, for Miss Catherine and Alex soon to be Dale Rosal um, I'm excited we're gonna have a lot of fun today all the way into the night um, they said, Jimmy, we want to have fun, we want to dance the night away, and we just want to have a very good time. So, that's my job, and that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, right now, like I said, it's a Friday. Um, I'm usually at work, but I am not, because I want to focus on this gig right here. And let me tell you, that feels very good, because I got up this morning, I still got on my pajamas, and I just went in the kitchen, cooked some eggs and some uh, sausages and uh, made my coffee. And I sat down and I ate with my wife. She went on to work and I was here doing this. And let me tell you, this feels very good right now. <laughs> I feel very relaxed. I ain't rushing to do nothing. So y'all keep bringing them gigs, man. Keep hooking me up, man, so we can make this thing happen. And this is all I do. Make this my full time or something. And this feels great. But um, other than that, man, like I say, I'm getting some last minute music, sorting it out. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead, wash up, and uh, pack up everything. And then we're going to keep this thing moving, man. Also, um, I don't know if you saw the last episode, but I did my uh, outro and the light went out. Um, I usually use my garage light when I uh, put the garage door down. But it went out during my recording, and I said, I'm not re re recording this over again, so I just let it be. But soon after that, I went out and I bought a light, um, like a photo video light. So now I have good lighting all the time. Don't have to worry about that. I hope you guys appreciate that, because I'm using it right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, so we just moving along. Like I said, I'm going to get this last minute of music and uh, wash up. And uh, we're going to keep this thing moving. The wedding reception starts at 5.30. It is now 10.30. So we have plenty of time in between time. So I'm just relaxing and uh, taking my time, getting my mind straight. Um, hey, man. Try to tell you guys, man, there's it's a lot that goes into this DJ thing, man. You don't just walk up and just play music. Um, a lot of people think they can be a DJ just off rip, man. It take a lot of work, man, especially with weddings. Weddings are tough, man. Um, I feel very good about this wedding. I can't wait to do this wedding, but still, you still on edge a little bit because it's somebody's wedding, man. This is a moment that they are going to remember for the rest of their lives. And you want to be on the good side of that, not the bad side. You don't want no issues whatsoever. So... You know, it's good to just get your mind together. Like I said, I've been preparing for this for, like, months. And this week, I've been going hard at it just to make sure everything is straight and make sure I had a backup on top of a backup for every situation that could possibly happen. So that takes a lot of work and a lot of planning. So this DJ thing is not as easy as it looks. It looks fun, which it is, but sometimes it takes a lot of work, man. But, um, like I said, I'm very excited. I can't wait to do this one. But uh, we're going to get this thing rolling. Like I say, I'm going to get some last minute music, wash up, and then next time y'all see me, I'll be loading up that van. So, uh, y'all get yourself together because y'all going to help me, alright? Let's go. Please 
always play something else. Play something else. Play something else. All right, y'all, we are rocking and rolling. Everything is looking good and in place. I had to stop by Lowe's um, before I headed out because um, I ran out of extension cords and I need some black extension cords. So I needed like four more uh, cords. So I went ahead, went to Lowe's and uh, grabbed those. And now I'm on my way to the venue. Uh, do have a couple of issues one of those issues is um, it's raining off and on it's not raining right now praise God so I pray that it stops but um, even if it rains it's doing like this light misty crap I don't know what that is but it's it's like a light mist you know like when you go to the amusement park and they got the fans with the water and they blowing it on your face that's what it feel like but um, it's off and on right now so I pray to God that it does not get any worse or it just clears up. That'd be great. Um, the other thing is that traffic is really bad right now uh, for two reasons. You already know it's raining, so guess what? People can't drive, uh, and they are riding each other's bumpers and slamming on brakes and getting in accidents. I don't know why y'all do that, but hey, y'all gonna learn one day. But uh. It's causing a big traffic issue. Um, I'm sitting in it now, but it's clearing up as we speak. So thank God for that. And um, yeah, so uh, I pray to God it's not raining where the reception is gonna be, because it's nice. Um, it's just cloudy, but I pray no rain um, happens anymore. So that'd be great. Wow, that is a nasty accident. Wow. Dang. Anyway. That's what I'm talking about. There's an accident everywhere, man. So uh, speaking of accidents, I'm going to focus on this road. And uh, next time you see me, I will be at the venue, man. And we're going to have a good old time. So uh, get ready to do some work. I'm out.
and Catherine Del Rosal. Nice young man. And yeah, what more can I say? We're just so blessed. Jesus has answered our prayers. He has sent someone into Catherine's life. And I'm not worried about Catherine anymore. I know she's going to be okay. She's going to be taken care of. And we're so grateful. So thank you. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and proceed and, and have some food. Thank you. To the both of you, uh, I'm so happy you guys are in my life. You guys are two amazing individuals and you need a better team. Um, and I cannot wait to see what God has in store for your lives. So, um, on that note, if everyone would have, join me in raising a glass to the newlyweds, um, congratulations to Alice and Kevin. Well, guys, um, it's been a great night. You guys are ready to party? I know you are. Well, let's turn this thing up. pretty good reception um, this is actually the morning after um, I didn't get home till almost uh, one o'clock and then I had to put everything in the house and um, I did not go to bed till almost three o'clock this morning and um, I woke up to my dog staring at me in my face and I'm like dude get out of my face <laughs> What do you want? But um, he had every right to uh, be in my face because <laughs> it was pushing nine o'clock. <laughs> I was like, man, I can't believe I slept at nine o'clock, man. So yeah, um, I should have been up. But I am really tired because Catherine and Alex wants to have a big old reception, man. <laughs> That was a very good reception. It was. It was. Um, from beginning to end, um, it was just nonstop. And they was ready to party since they walked through the door. So when them lights came on and that music started blasting, they went at it. And they were throwing songs left and right that they wanted to request. And I was just dishing them right back at them. 
So we had a very good time. I had a very good time, actually. Um, I just enjoyed everything from the music to uh, they had some good food there. They had Four Rivers barbecue. So that was good. And um, just them being there, man, and their families. You could just feel the love in the room between all of them, man. It was good, man. It was just a nice sight to see. Um, also, I enjoyed them going through the sparklers. I like that. That was cute. And they got in the car, and then <laughs> Alex, the groom, he uh, sped off and burned the rubber and everything, man. I was like, man, that was sweet. And he did not hit anything. <laughs> I know if I would have did that, I would have hit something. But, man, shout out to you, man. You did that. But, um, like I said, man, the reception was awesome, man. And I have some DJs out there. They wanted to know about the Chave Wash FX2s. Yes. Yes. Two thumbs up. You definitely need to get those lights. Those lights are so bright, man. And they fill up the whole room without any issues, man. Um, I had people trying to come up to me to request a song. And they was like, uh, Mr. DJ, uh, can you play a... Uh? Because they could not see me. <laughs> They could not see me, man, but them lights are nice, man. I'm gonna have to like lift them up like really high so it won't get in people's face. But um, I thought I had them up high. They was like right above my head, but you know, I put them like all the way up next time. But yeah, man, them lights are awesome. And um, we just had a very good night, man. So two thumbs up for this reception. And um, it was a great way to uh, end this season of the DJ Chronicles, man. We had a blast this year. If you look at all the videos, man, from beginning to end, you will see the huge progression of uh, things that we uh, encountered and the things that um, I was able to uh, get um, as far as my DJ setup, man. It was like a full 180, man. It's just awesome, man. And guess what? 2020 is going to be even better. God is doing some amazing things, man. In my life, personally, and in my DJ business, man. He just definitely just showing out, man. So I ain't worrying about nothing. I'm focusing on God and what he has for me. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't worrying about nobody. <laughs> but uh, I just want to say, man, thank you guys so much for uh, watching these videos. And thank you for all your support. I appreciate it and everything, man. And I do want to say a big shout out to a couple of people, um, which is Miss Tiffany Wright, Miss Jay Stanley, DJ uh, Main Squeeze, DJ um, Corey B, DJ Shade, and um, there's a couple more people, man. Just off the top of my head, man, those people right there have been looking out, man. And last but not least, my number one guy, Orlando Presents, man. Shout out to you, bro. You helped me out a lot, more than you know. Um, and those, man, those people, man, God's going to show out in their life too, man. And they just been helping me with different things, man. It, it could be something as simple as a phone call, man. It just, it blessed me a lot. So, um, like I said, man, 2020 is going to be a big year. And uh, we're going to do a lot of big things next year. A lot. There's a lot of things happening, man. So y'all just stay tuned. That's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you right now. But it's it's amazing. Um, but other than that, man, like I say, thank you guys so much, man. And we're going to ride the rest of this year out for what's left. And um, I'm going to see y'all next year in 2020. So this is the episode, the final episode of this season, season one of the DJ Chronicles. Whoa.